Okay, so I've been telling all my friends about this great note-taking app and at first it sounds a little bit crazy when I tell them and I'd say it's one of the greatest things that, is, that I discovered in 2020 but I figured that instead of trying to explain it to them I would just make a video um, as it's a little bit easier to get into why it's so cool. So just starting with Google Chrome, I'm going to go to logseek.com it's spelled like that, L-O-G-S-E-Q.com and I get to this page which basically explains what LogSeq is. Uh, if you have heard of Rome Research, it is basically the same thing, just open source and free. So what I need to do is start a new uh, database or graph as it's called. So I'm just going to open one, um, yeah, there, just starting my LogSeq example and it will allow me to edit any files in that folder. So what it's basically doing is creating a front end that allows me to, to generate files in that folder. And it sounds very trivial, but let's get into it just a little bit. So if I get into the settings, you'll see here that I've got a preferred file format of Markdown. So there's two formats, org and markdown. I just keep it as markdown because that's what I know. There's a preferred workflow, which is now later or to do doing. And there are, there's one other thing which I like. Ah, there, switch to white theme. Sometimes I like switching to white theme and I think it might be better for video purposes. Although the blue theme is quite nice to work on at night. Um, but let's go to the white theme, okay. So what I just have here is a um, eternal text edit editor. That's probably not infinite, an infinite text editor. So then I can just start writing notes for the day. So for instance, um, I can say had a meeting with person A, we discussed this, or we discussed topic X, great, um, you know, had coffee with person B, person B, okay, great, so nothing special about that, it's just, um, just open space that you can, can write your thoughts down. The great thing about LogSeq is that I can now go and create a personal wiki of sorts um, that allows me to toggle between different things. So this April 6th or whatever date it might be is just the journal date and there's, there's no more journals here, but if I could actually go, let me create another journal. I'll just say, then I can see what I did on April 5th. Now, again, this is not revolutionary, but the, the, the cool feature is that if I just go here and I double tap, square brackets, it creates a linked field. And that's basically creating a personal wiki. And then I can also go to that one, create that, and I can say topic X, boom. Okay. Now, when I go, now I can click into each of these and they become a page. So I've got person A and I've got topic X. And I was like, oh, great. What, what is topic X related to? So topic X is maybe it's related to books. So um, I can add a couple of tags here. Tags, books, and maybe there was a, um, you know, so it's some, something to write about topic X. Topic X is all about this new bit technology called LogSeq. Great. So again, nothing revolutionary here, but when you start using it more and more, it starts building up um, a knowledge base and it also enables you to, you know, get into this thing called personal knowledge management where you have 
basically a second brain online that I can click around and, and, and go to. Um, and I can do that in a number of ways. I can, I can use these clicking links here, or I could go up here and I can say view graph. And then it's got a whole bunch of links that it creates here. And that's pretty cool. Now I, you can see here there's doing, done, to do, whatever, all those different things. So if I go back to my journal and I can say, you know, I need to do, I need to do a specific task. I just say control enter and I can say action oriented. Let's say send email to person A. Let me make another one. Send email to person C. Let me put that in square brackets. Oh, person B. Okay, cool. Now I have a workflow management thing as well. So I can create a new page. Let me call, I have, this is what I do. I've got a personal landing page, which I'll just call home. So over here, I can, I can see everything that is to do. And what I, the way that I do it is I use queries, which is another feature that is built in here. So if I just type in um, forward slash and then query, I can say where to do is to do. So to do is a type of field. Don't want to get into details of that. And then bam, I've got all my to do's and I can build different levels of this, of this thing. Again, not revolutionary, but then what I can do is I can click here and mark off all those things and they, they done great. But I'll go back to my journal and I can see that they still, they still there. So lots of diff different applications that are built in here. Um, this is not well structured at all. Just as a sort of, um, starting point. What I really want to show you is what you can do when you start building this a little bit more. So I've gone away and done some behind the scenes work where I copied some of my notes across from my personal database to this database now. And um, that's super simple. It's literally just copying the files and putting them in this new folder. So it's really just, as I say, a front end for whatever's happening on your computer. And now if I go to my graph, ta-da, magic. So I have a couple of nodes of information that you can see developing here. And um, let us go into, for instance, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. So Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance is one of my favorite books. And you can see here, I've got some quotes from the book. I've got a rating. Um, I haven't reviewed it yet. It's something I want to do. I want to review books that I've read that have been great. When I finished it, who was who had recommended it by? And you can see all of these become fields that I can navigate in. So let me go into author Robert Persig, nothing about him specifically, but I could build on this and it would be there for all to see in reference. I can click on rating 10 and you can see that all the books that I've rated 10 um, appear here. So it's creating those links. If I go to Sapiens, I can you know see what, um, what I've written about Sapiens. Um, I can take passages from the book. I can write a little bit about it. This book reviews is a suggestion from a YouTuber called Ali Abdal, which is pretty interesting. Forces encourages you to, to reflect on what you've been reading. If I go back, let me go back to my graph. I've also got some, another node of information that's developing here, which is building a second brain which is a, a really cool course by Tiago Forte. I haven't done it myself. I've just read the blog post, but maybe one day. Um, but the idea is that uh, when we eventually upload our brains to the internet, I'll be first in line. No, it's definitely not that. It's just, it's, it's just a great way to be able to link all your thoughts and you know refer back to information that you may one day want to resurface. And the idea is that the more tags that you put here, so for instance, you can see here on Zen and Arts of Motorcycle Maintenance, I've got a whole bunch of tags. One of the tags happens to be books. Um, <clears throat> and topic X that I wrote about earlier has also got the tag book. Um, but it, it allows you to sort of cycle through your different topics and come across things serendipitously and 
or in a more structured way. I think the Rome research was the was a real front runner in this, and the idea is that um, different institutions or, or different people working in the same institution can work on the same like base of knowledge. What I try, what I've tried to do here is build like a personal base of knowledge, and um, yeah, very useful. I think they are it, the the best way to to get into it is just to get started to open an account. Well, not, not even open an account. It's it's free. It's open source. Um, I mean, you can contribute to to the team. They're doing an amazing job. I personally decided to do that. It's like five dollars a month because it's really worth it in my eyes. Anyways, um, hope you try it out.